Hi everybody, it's Kathy and welcome to today's workout. So today I have a fast and furious kettlebell explosion. So what that means is there's going to be some traditional kettlebell moves followed by a little powerful uh, cardio burst, maybe a little plyo, something like that. Easily modified for all levels. So don't get discouraged if it sounds like it's something out of your league. Hand weights can easily be swapped out for the kettlebells. We will be doing some swings, not a whole lot of them, um, but there is a sequence that we're gonna do a little bit of some swings too. So um, I'm gonna be working with a slew of kettlebells here. I've got 15 all the way to 35. Um, so grab your kettlebells, grab your water, um, have your towel ready, because I think you're gonna need it, and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with just a squat. We're gonna sink it down into a deep squat. We're just gonna reach and press overhead. So deep squat, reach and press. Down and reach. Yeah, sink it down. For the most part, we're gonna follow a 40 second, 15 second recovery. And uh, for the most part, they will be repeated two times through. All right, so down and up. Not too daunting, right? Keep going, nice work. Perfect, now we're just gonna punch and pivot across. Pivot, pivot, and just push through with that arm, getting a deeper rotation here. Nice work. Sink it down and push. Awesome. Down. Four, three, two, and one. Reach for the toes, power jack. Reach for the toes, power jack. Easily modify, down and up. Good. Wide stance. Power it up. Gaze forward, booty back. Starting to feel those legs. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Shake out those legs. All right, we're going to go into an alternating lunge. Let's take it into a curl. Reach up, down. Curl, reach, up, down, curl, reach, up, down, curl, and up, curl, and up, curl, and up, come on, let's switch it here, let's just go into a big curl here, kind of was a little discombobulated there with that warm up move, yeah, come on, pull it in and up, reach under, Reach up. Good job. Eight left here. Nice work, seven more. Big reach up. Six, five, four, three, two. Nice work in one. Awesome, we're gonna do a little scissor action here. Three of them. One, two, three, down. One, two, three. Down, scissor, 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 down. One, two, down. One, two, down. Down, one, two, down. Ah, come on, breathe. Down, four, three, two, one, right here, nice work. Shake it out. All right, come into a wider stance. We're gonna come into a skier swing. You're gonna hinge, come all the way up and stretch. Swing it out, all the way up and stretch. Hinge down, power up and stretch. Push that booty back. Good, big stretch here. Nice work. Awesome, four, three, two, good job. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna add a power jump. Up, up, big power up. Good, now if you don't wanna jump, you'll stay with the move we did in the beginning here with just the stretch up. Eight, seven, use those arms. Six, five, come on now. Four, three, two, and one. Now you're just gonna give me a little hinge here. We're gonna hinge out. You're gonna walk out slowly. Hold, hike the hips to the sky, walk your hands back in. 
reach overhead, squeeze the shoulder blades. Again, small little walk forward, reach, kind of engaging the lats, walk the hands back in, reach overhead, hinge out, walk slowly right here. Nice work. Come on up, two more right here. Walk it out, stretch it out. Last one here, all the way out, nice work, hold it. Pike those hips, absolutely great. Coming into butt kickers here, pull the elbows back, kick your heels back towards your booty. Good job, stay with it. Nice work. Elbows back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, right here. Reach it out, let's go into some skips here, high knees, pump the arms. Come on, pull it up. I had a look at my monitor here. I was turning on my heart rate monitor and it wasn't starting. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice work. Shake it in and out. Shake those arms, shake them out. Nice job. Stay with it here. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, big arm circles. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Big arm circles back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hinge forward, give yourself a little swan dive. Take your hands behind your shins and push your body in half here. Lift, lift your tailbone. Nice work as you stand up. You're gonna give me a knee hug. Pull it into your chest. Good job. Let's do one more knee hug. Awesome, and right here. I want you to grab some water. We're gonna get started with our first sequence. All right. So for the first sequence, you're going to be just doing a squat. Um, so I want you to grab a medium heavy kettlebell. So I'm gonna start with my 20 pounder here. We're gonna roll back. We're gonna do a three count uh, goblet. So we're gonna go down for three, up for three. Elbows will be in, so it's one, two, three, up, two, three, okay? So just holding on to that kettlebell, 40 seconds of work, 15 seconds of recovery. All right, so get those shoulders rolled back, core strong, three uh, down, three up. Here we go, abs in. One, two, three, up, two, three. Gazes forward. Two, three, up, two, three. One, two, three, up, two, three. So keep that head upright. I want really good posture and I want you to get as low as you can with each squat. Pull the abs in, elbows stay in towards your body. Two, three, up, two, three. Nice work, down, two, three, up, two, three. Stay with it, down, two, three, up, two, three. Whew. You breathe in, three, up, two, three. Nice work. Now all we're gonna do is a push press. We're gonna rotate on each side, side to side rotations for 40 seconds, all right? Try to stay with a heavy kettlebell if you can. Just a push press rainbow. Here we go, up and over, Whew. up and over. Now I want you to keep the kettlebell right over your shoulder, so I don't want you to bring it down here, okay? So keeping it here, each side. Yeah, little push press, booty back, core strong, up and over. Nice little rainbow. With a name like a rainbow, it has to be pretty, right? Up and around, 16 seconds. Good, little push press, get it up and around. Beautiful. So on deck, we have a body weight power move. Three, two, and one. All right, body weight power move. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna do three quick air squats and then a jump. All right, take the jump up, it off if you want to keep it a lower impact. Here we go. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. 
One, two, three, power. One, two, three, explode. One, two, three, explode. One, two, three, explode. How high can you go? Two, three, explode. One, two, three, one more. One, two, three, explode. All right, one more round of both of those, okay? Now I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on my kettlebell. I'm gonna go to 25s. So it's gonna be a little more challenging, but I know I can do it. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Elbows glued in, here we go. One, two, three, up, two, three. So watch my positioning here. I'm straight up and down. Do not get yourself worried if you cannot get as low as I can, okay? You're going within your range of motion, your mobility. Everybody's different. As long as you're pushing your booty back and your knees are tracking over your ankles, you're in good shape, okay? Do not fret about how low you go. Your body will tell you where you're at. Come on. One, two, three, up. Two, three. All right, good work. All right, now we got our rainbow push press. All right, since I'm going a little heavier, it's going to be a little bit more effort to get that kettlebell up and over. But I can do it, so can you. Abs are in. Here we go. Push press up. Hup. Come on. Each side of your body. Shoulders, back, bicep, maybe triceps are working. Come on, keep that gaze forward. Booty back, power up, core is engaged. Go. Mm. Hup. Yeah. Come on, stay with it. 18 seconds. Let's go. Push press. Hup. Push press. 10 seconds. Let's go. Hup. Hup. Nice work. Stay with it. Oh. Nice. Oh. Woo. All right. Three air squats, one jump, okay? Last time through. Nice deep squats. Five seconds to go. In three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, power. One, two, three, power. One, two, three, power. One, head up. Two, three, explode. Two, when you give me that explosion, you're gonna land super soft. One, two, three, you're starting all over again. Come on, 18 seconds. Two, three, explode. Three, explode. Good job, and go. Up, and jump, and done. All right, so you are done. With that sequence, go ahead and grab some water. All right, you should be nice and warmed up now. All right, so we're gonna go into a new move here while you're recovering. Grab some inhales, shake out the arms if you want. All right, I'm gonna go into a little bit lighter here. So I'm gonna go into a 15 pounder. You're gonna put your hand through your kettlebell if you're using a kettlebell. All right, if not, you're using a dumbbell. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into three lunges like this, and you're gonna curl with three of them. So it's one, Two, now after three, curl, step in and press. And then you're gonna go back to those three curls like this. Hold on three, push, press, and up, okay? So you got 40 seconds on the right side. Then you're gonna go into a reach across and pivot press. So it's all in one fail swoop. 40 seconds, and then we're gonna do everything on the opposite side. And then we've got a power move, which I will show you then. All right, put your hand through your kettlebell if you're using it, lighten your load slightly. All right, you're going into three lunges with that curl. Palms facing forward, elbows close, here we go. One, hold it here. Two, hold it here. Three, hold, press, good. Up one, up two, up three, and press, nice work, come on. One, two, 
three, hold and press straight up. You got it. One, two, palm forward, three, curl, press, go. One, two, three, and press. Good work. One, two, three, and press. Good job. All right. Kettlebell, both hands. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Reach to the outside of your right uh, foot. And then you're going to immediately curl and press to the other side with a pivot. Here we go. Reach across and go. So it's one failed swoop here. Down and up. All right, you're not stopping in the center. So it's a little bit of a wood shop here. Pivoting out, so across the body, up and around. Really engaging the abs now. Good, I want you to look at the weight as you go overhead. Everything's going on the opposite side. Come on, 10 seconds. Come on. Good job, one more. Awesome work, all right. Put your hand through your kettlebell if you're using your kettlebell. Otherwise, you're switching sides. Three on the third, stepping in, overhead press. Palms facing forward in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, hold here, press. Good work, come on. One, two. I call this a bowling ball hold, all right? Because it's kind of like you have a bowling ball in your hand, right? Come on, one, two, a bow in, hold, press, good, one, up, two, up, three, press straight up, one, up, two, up, three, do you notice a little different from side to side? Yes, come on, one, two, three, push, Overhead, all right. Going into those reach acrosses with your press, all right? It's all one move. Reach across in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Reach across, pivot press, down and up. So it's a quick curl and a quick press with that nice pivot on that foot. Watch your kettlebell going overhead. Your form sinking down. Reach all the way across that body. So I'm trying to get my kettlebell to the back of my heel. So I have to really reach back to engage more abs. All right, you got a power move on deck, and then we're gonna repeat everything all to one more time. Come on, right here. Come on. One more. Nice work. All right, body weight power move. So it's three, uh, three, uh, two scissors and a lunge. So it's one, two, lunge, lunge. All right, if you don't want to do the lunge, just take the scissors. You can also step back. Here we go. One, two, down, down, down. Head up. Scissor, scissor, lunge. Scissor, scissor, lunge. So I'm traveling, but you can stay stationary. 19 seconds. So there's always one more explosive move. You do what's right for you. Ah, yeah. One more. Oh, all right. We're taking it from the top, all right? Grab your kettlebell. Oh, I got to tie my shoe here. All right, we're going into those three bicep curl lunges with the curl press. Here we go. One, two, hold on three, hold, press. One, two, three, hold, press. Go ahead, work. One, two, good posture. Remember, all the way down, all the way up with that curl, okay? You wanna get that full range of motion. One, straight down, straight up. Three, come on. One, two, 
three, one more, come on, one, two, come on, you got this, three, and press, Woo! all right, both hands, or one weight, you decide, reach across, curl and press, cross that body, here we go, to the outside of that heel, and up, up, remember to keep your gaze forward, so when you go down, your head shouldn't be going down with it. All right, so you wanna to try to keep a distance ahead so you keep that oxygen in those muscles. It's gonna help you power through the exercise. So if you were to look down each time, all right, that's wasted energy, all right? You could risk getting dizzy, lightheaded. So it clearly could slow you down. Come on, we wanna flow through this. We want to keep the body moving the entire time. One more, up, and press, nice work. One more round, other side, hand through your kettlebell, palm facing forward, opposite side. How you feeling? All right, here we go, let's go. One, two, hold it on three, press, down one, two, three, and press, come on, one, two, hold on, three, up, are you getting that full range of motion here, one, two, up, three, so if you don't have a kettlebell, you can really feel these, these are nice and strong, go, oh, if you don't have a kettlebell, why not, come on, oh, one more, up, two, up, uh, Three, and press. It was a little dysfunctional on that one. All right, woo. Reach across, curl and press. Heart rate should be up. Are we doing good? Four seconds. Here we go. So it's kind of explosive here as you come up. All right, you're down, you press, oh. So it's really dynamic, guys. Try not to slow this down. So what I wouldn't prefer to see is this and then this, all right? If you want to go heavy and you're gonna it's going to take you a little extra time, then that's perfectly fine. But if you have a lighter kettlebell like me, you should be able to float through this pretty rapidly. <sighs> Let's do one more. Oh, yikes. All right. Our last round of our three count scissor lunge. Remember, you can take those scissors out. One, two, lunge. One, two, lunge, all right? That's an option for you. Here we go. One, two, down. So you're catching yourself with that lunge. Super soft, head up. So for all, a lot of us, and me included, Doing a jump lunge can be kind of hard to keep good form. It's a really good way to kind of get those jump lunges in with a little bit of less impact and able to really hone in on the lunge portion, yeah? Ha! Ah, one more. You did it. Shake it out, grab some water, Towel off, nice work. All right, we have one more round of a 40, 15 sequence here. Woo! All right. All right, so this is what we got. You have three moves, and they're gonna be done. Three, two times, okay, so 40. So pick a, a substantial weight. I'm gonna go 20s here. So you're gonna hold in front, thumbs in front, just like we did with our um, reach across. So you're gonna come into a wide stand, toes are flared out. You're gonna um, lower down in a four count. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four. And they're gonna give me two frog curls, bicep curls. 
We're gonna come up four counts. All right, so that will be the first exercise. The second exercise will be tempo, down and up. All right, straight down, straight up. All right, the, the third exercise is going to be a three count pulse with a pop. All right, so you're just gonna give me three pulses in one pop. All right, we got 12 seconds, three rounds, all right? Toes are flared out, I'm going with a 20 here, shoulders are rolled back, sinking down four count, two curls at the bottom. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Curl, now my elbows are glued to my legs here. Two, hold it down, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna show you one more like this, and then I'm gonna turn sideways, down, one, and two, raise, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Straight curl two times. Good, and one, two, three, four. So you want really good posture. Four, two curls, head upright. Don't lean forward, I see that a lot. Two, three, four. So if you lean forward, give me two curls and we'll stand up. Ah, oh, just come up. All right, now you're going to tempo. Down and up. Roll the shoulders, good posture. Tempo, down and up. Here we go. Down and up. So think of your butt going back. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs, your outer thighs. Drop and stand. Good. Your gaze is forward. Good, straight down, straight up. Let the kettlebell pull you down. This is such a good exercise for your legs, clearly. For your booty, your core is working hard. Just by holding that kettlebell and keeping the shoulders down and back, you're working your um, shoulder muscles, your uh, deltoids. Four seconds. Good. Oh, slow it down. Here we go. And drop it off. Three pulses, one pop up. All right, so it's just a pop. Six seconds, a little plyo, take the plyo out if it's not right for you. Here we go. One, two, three, pop. One, two, three, pop. One, two, three. One, two, three, pop. Down, two, three, pop. Two, three, stand. That's what it would look like if you want to modify this. Up, two, three. Another way to modify is come up onto your tiptoes. Are you feeling those legs? Because you just have another full round. Two, three. Ugh. Haven't met too many people that are in love with their inner thighs. And shake it out. Get that muscle. Grab some water if you need to. Last and final round. Grab your kettlebell, thumbs in front. Good posture, shoulders back. Four count curls. One, two, three, four. Elbows glued into your legs. Two times, all the way down, all the way up. Stand. One, two, three, four. Lower. Two, three, four. Elbows in and curl. They're pushing right into your legs. All the way down, all the way up. Head stays upright. Two, three, four. Down. Two, three, four. Curl it in. Only two times, feet are super wide. Two, three, four, good posture. Two, three, four, curl. Curl and up, two, three, four. All right, shake it out. You've got your tempo and then your three pops. Your legs should be starting to talk to you a little bit. Toes flared out, feet are wide. Kettlebell pulled down and away, here we go. Down, up. Good work. Down and up. Now you wanna make this harder? Give me heel lifts or toe lifts. I mean, lift those heels, all right? It's up to you, okay? Up. Let's intensify it just a bit, come on. Up. So you're having a little hang time here. Ah. Now let's reverse it. Come up on top, come up on top, come up on top, yeah. Adding a little calf to the mix. Ah. 
up. So this almost feels explosive. One more. Oh, all right. Three pulses. <coughs> One pop up, excuse me. Ooh. So it's really nice to mix things up, right? All right, three pulses, one pop up. Toes flared out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I go right back to my prayer pose here. I'm praying to the plie guys, to the sumo gods. Come on. One, two, three. Landing soft, coming straight up. Two, three. Hello, inner thighs. Hello, booty. Hello, heart. Really blasting belly fat here too, come on. Did you know that plyometrics help support your legs to help ward off osteoporosis as well? Come on. Oh. One more. Oh, oh, Sam, I am. Nice. Woo, All right, let's go into some stretches. Lateral here, sink it, hold it. Ah, take it to the other side. Ooh. Now when we get deeper here, let's bring our hand down, bring our heel up. Now let's take it to the other side. Awesome, walk your hands. Or just walk that booty up, stretch. Pull your body up, hug it in, towel off. Okay, now we're gonna take this to a little swing action, okay? So I'm gonna go heavier. So, I'll go through a really quick swing tutorial, but most of you should already know by now what to do in a swing. So we are only doing three rounds of this, okay? So that's it, but you've got two different sequences that you're gonna do. We're gonna do five kettlebell swings, and then you're gonna do five swing and stops. All right, then you're gonna go into 10 power jacks. You repeat that three times. So swing, remember what a swing isn't, it's not it's not, it's not a squat, okay? So you're gonna come into a hip hatch. I'm just gonna demo this really quick, all right? So your feet are just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Your kettlebell will always be out here when you start. So it'll be in the height position, all right? You're gonna engage the lats. You're gonna float the kettlebell behind your legs with power um, above your knees, all right? So it's above five of these. After number five, you're gonna go into one swing into one swing and stop. All right, you'll do that five times. Then you'll let go of the kettlebell, and then you're gonna go into 10 power jacks, and you'll go back to five and five, 10 power jacks, three rounds. Then we're gonna do a round with single arms, okay? That one's gonna be a little bit different. I don't think we've ever done a swing and stop single in a video. All right, here we go. Five reps only, three rounds. All right, roll your shoulders back, pull the abs in, Engage, reach forward, so tip the kettlebell for you, hike those hips. You're going for five swings and then five swing and stops in three, two, one. Here we go. One, hook, two, remember it's only going as high, three as your hips bring it, four, and five. Now one swing, one, now one stop, one. Here's two, two, and two. Come on, here's three, gazes forward, and three, getting a nice stretch in the back, four, and four, here's five, five, and five. Drop the kettlebell down and up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, back to five swings, back to five swing and stops, hips back, Pull the kettlebell, engage your lats, five swings. Here we go. One, two, I don't want those arms lifting. Three, four, and five. One swing, one stop. Gaze forward, here we go. Two, and two, come on. Here's three, and three. Here's four, and four. Here's five, and five. Kettlebell down, power jacks, one. Two, three, four, five more, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Okay. Last and final. We're switching gears. All right. Five and five. 
Gaze forward, engage those hips. Kettlebell tips forward. Pull the shoulders, engage the lats. Five swings, here we go. Up, five, four, three, two, one. One and one, one and one. Up, two and two. Three and three. Up, four and four. One more, you should be starting to feel those hammies. And five, power. One, two, three, get low. Four, slow it up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Whew. Nice work. Inhale, exhale. All right, now we're gonna take this to single arm. We're doing the exact same thing with a big different finisher. So I'm gonna do a 25 pounder. So you're gonna stay on the right side. You're gonna give me five single arm swings. Five single arm swing and steps. You're gonna give me five deadlift hops. So these are what the deadlift hops look like. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, if you don't wanna do the hops, you can do this, where you can drop it and just go into that. All right, so here's what a single arm swing and stop looks like. You know what a swing looks like, remember? Same concept. Hinge above the legs, you got five of these. Use your hips. Now I lighten my load a little bit. Then you got one swing, and then you're gonna bring it forward, one step. All right? Three rounds right, three rounds left. Finish with abs, done. All right, shoulders back. Grab that weight in front of you, engage your lats, pull your core in. Five single arm right swings, here we go. One, opposite hand is working. Two, three, four, Five, one and one. One, one. Up, two, two. Gaze forward. Three, it's a little bit different. Yeah, three. Up, four, four. You gotta really stay mindful. Here's five. Up, and five. Now you're just gonna step forward. You're just gonna give me five single hops. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one, now step back, five swings, all right? Engage the lats, here we go. Five, four, I should put my gloves on. Three, I'm having a hard time holding on two. And one, one and one. One, and stop. Is that kettlebell coming above your legs? And stop, two, up, three, and stop. Come on, here's four, four, and stop. Watch your form. Five, and stop. Woo! Bring it center, five hops. Let's go. Five, four, three, and two, and one. All right, my gloves nearby. I'm gonna see if I can put my gloves on real fast. So time out here. All right, they are. All right, time out, sorry about this. But my hands are sweating big time. So I'm just gonna quickly put my gloves on. Oh, I don't know about you, but my room gets super, super sweaty. Plus, you know that I'm a big sweater to start with. All right, let's do this. One more round on the right. Woo! All right, five and five, but we're going to end with de 10 deadlifts hops because I gave you too much recovery. All right, so if you only want to do five, you can do five, but I'm going to throw 10 in there, okay? All right, engage those last shoulders back. Here we go. Five. Yeah, a little bit better. Four. I'm not a big fan of gloves. Three, two, one, one and one. One, and reach all the way forward. Come on. <clears throat> two, and reach. Gaze forward. Three, and reach. Here's four. <clears throat> four, and reach. Here's five. Oh boy. Five, and five. Walk it forward. 10 hops. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. All right, towel off, grab some water. We've got the left side to do. Finish with some abs and we're done. All right, left side. So remember, when we do one-sided work, that's unilateral. Might be weaker on this side. When we double up, the weak side and the strong side work together so you don't know which is which. All right, here we go. 
Height those hips, gauge the lats above the legs. Five, up, five, four, three, up, two, here's five, five, one, and one. Really get that kettlebell forward. Two, and two. Engage, set those hips back. Three, and three. Remember, you're not squatting. Four, above those knees, and four. Here's five. Five, and five. Nice work. Now, hopping it forward, we're gonna go to five hops. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, step it back. Round two. Hinge it, engage the lats above. Here we go. Five, use that power. Four, three, two. Now, if you're struggling here, you could do both hands. One, and down. Two, and down. So maybe your kettlebell is just too slippery. So do two hands. Three, four, four. Here's five. Uh, five, and five. Coming forward. Five hops, and we have one more round. Here we go. Up, five, four, three, two, uh, one. Last and final. We're gonna do 10 hops because we did 10 on the other. All right, here we go, five and five. Up, five, you're almost done. Four, three, two, one, one and one. One, come on, two, Three, three, four, five, five. Bring it in, you got 10 hops. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, yes, two. Oh my God. Oh. So silly me, Tori was doing five rounds of each of those. How I think this is a good number to kind of work as hard without overdoing it, right? All right, here's your last two moves. All right, so they're gonna have a little bit of a, a power component to them as well. So I'm gonna show you the levels. You're gonna to wanna to opt with a little bit lighter of a kettlebell here. All right, I'm either gonna use a 15 and or a 20. All right, Woo, I'm gonna change my timer. It's a 45-15. You know what, I'm gonna keep my timer. We'll keep it 40. We'll keep it 40, let's keep it 40. All right, so here's what you got here. So let me just go back here. No, I'm, all, I'm fine with that. All right, so you got two exercise. First exercise, you're gonna come into a dumbbell pullover into an overhead sit up. So your feet are long, they can be slightly bent. All right, you're gonna pull over, you're gonna come up, you're gonna sit up and press. Now, to make this a little easier, have your knees bent. All right, so what if you can't? So here's your down, up, lift, lower, overhead, lift, pull the body up. All right, do what you can. Here is your second move, and not everybody's gonna be able to do this move, so I'm gonna show you the first part of the exercise I want you to do if you can't do the second exercise. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna come into a kettlebell cannonball. So you're gonna shoot out of your cannon. All right, so the level, the second part of this is gonna be very similar, but you're gonna have a power up component. So when you come back over your head, you're gonna power up. You're gonna come all the way back, Rock it and roll it. Keeping that kettlebell in front of you, you do not have to bring it behind your head. You decide. Okay, 45 seconds. I'm sorry, 40 seconds, 15 seconds. I'm gonna stay with my 20 here. You do a level that's right for you. All right, we've got a 12 second count here. Remember, you're starting with your overhead sit-ups. I'm gonna go this way, I think. Awesome. All right, folks, here. We go, pull over. Up, oh, I'm gonna come this way. Pull, sit back, pull over, up. Oh yeah. Remember to lower or bend those legs to make this a little bit easier right here. 
The longer those legs are, the harder this becomes. Give me that strong, straight arm pullover, working your lats, pushing your shoulder blades down into the floor as you pull that kettlebell overhead and left. Slow and easy. You want to articulate through that spine as you roll down and recover. All right, now we're adding that power reverse burpee sit up. Choose your level. It actually looks harder than it is. I think it's fun if you really add your hip action to it. Rock and roll, here we go. Rock it, roll it, down. Pick up your kettlebell, rock it back. So I'm using my hip action here. Rock and roll. Now, this move is not for everybody. I get that. If it's not for you, don't do it, okay? You always have options, come on. So if you're pregnant or you have a baby or you have hip issues or your body says heck to the no, don't do it. All right, Woo. all right guys, here we go. Going into round two, remember we got three rounds, right? Right? So I'm gonna take my bottom of my kettlebell, I'm gonna bring it to the sky this time. So when I go overhead, it's gonna be a little more challenging. Kettlebell to the sky, pull over, hop. Oh yeah, peel that body up, slow, hop, pull over. Feel the stretch as you bring those arms overhead and power your body up. Just see how my feet were popping up off the floor? It's okay. Up. Good. So a pullover is working our lats, working our backs, also getting a stretch in the triceps and the shoulder. So a heavier weight is going to be is something your body can handle, but the overhead sit-up, you might not be able to go that heavy. So maybe you just need to lighten your load for this exercise. All right. Are you ready for your power? Reverse burpee sit up. I can feel sweat just pouring off my back. All right, here we go. Rock and roll. Up, down. Ooh, sliding. Use that hip action. Don't worry about speed. Worry about power and control. 18 seconds. Oh. Oh, it's been a long time since I've done these. Oh. Okay. You have one last round. Word. All right, here we go, guys. Last round. Last round, we stretch. Here we go. Pull over. Keep yourself mindful. Focus, especially if you're working with a kettlebell because cast iron, you need to know where it is at all times. Up using your entire ab here. Slow retraction down. Pull over, push the shoulders up. So really, every cue I've given you, you should be telling yourself when you're down here, shoulders into the floor. Pull the belly in. Slowly reach towards the sky. Good. Awesome. And recover. All right, do what's right for you. Listen to your body, you're getting super, super tired. I get it, but don't opt out of this exercise just because you're tired. Opt out because it's the right thing to do. Here we go, rock and roll. Because everybody's tired. We don't back down from hard work, come on. When the going gets tough, the tough get going, right? Come on. Power through. So when I write out these exercises, I'm like rolling my eyes going, really? I've got to do them too. It's daunting for me. 
Oh, you got one more. But I will never, ever, ever have you do an exercise that I can't do. You did it. Unless I'm injured or whatever, okay? Woo! You guys deserve all the credit in the world. Not the easiest sex, not the easiest workout today. Had a lot of different components to it. All right, none of them were crazy, 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 but they had a plyo intensity to them, which made it more heart uh, blasting, all right? All right, let's shake out those arms, coming into a big arm circle, yeah. Let's take them back. Now, it also depends on a couple of things. The kettlebell choices or dumbbell choices, the extent at which you're using the intensity, how you're getting deep in your lunges, you know, are you adding, are you slowing down, are you paying attention, did you have a hard workout yesterday, pull it up. So, you got to take into consideration, so if today was really hard for you, think about what you did during your workout, think about what you did yesterday, do not beat yourself up, bring those hands behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades, ever. All right, you always have another crack at this. You do it another time. Pull the shoulders back, bring those arms up overhead. All right, it's just a workout, okay? You should never, ever, ever regret a workout, even if it's not your best work, even if it's not everything that you wanted to put into it. You're still not gonna regret it. You still did something. You still made gains. All right, so always hold on to that. There's always tomorrow. The sun will come up tomorrow, right? All right, roll the shoulders to your ears, push through the heels of the palm, nice. Up again. Good, one more. Up, excellent work. Let's just come into a quiet stretch here. Pull it back. Yikes, bring that arm up, hold it here. Now we're gonna extend this out a little bit, so we're gonna come into a stretch here. You're gonna hold it. Now I just want you to push your pelvis forward, so your hips squeeze your butt, and you're gonna feel a little bit deeper stretch in your quad. Keep that knee right next to your other knee. And now we're just gonna hinge forward if you can and bring that leg up a little bit higher and hold. Entirely up to you if you can do it. If you can't, don't worry about it. All right, so now once I said that, I can't do it. Bring that heel down, sit back into it, get a stretch to that hamstring, calf. Awesome work. The deck a little bit deeper. Figure four on this side. So when we do those swings, that's a posterior chain move. That is your backs of your legs, your glutes, your hamstrings. Your low back is assisting, but it's not your primary mover. Your legs are. Nice, should have felt that booty, plus those inner thighs, right? All right, quad stretch to start here. All right, stay focused, abs in, knee next. Now squeeze your butt cheeks. Push yourself forward. Keep that knee pushed next to the other knee. Don't bring it forward. And now just squeeze and push yourself forward. You should feel a little bit more intensity in your quad. This quad. All right, now you're just gonna hinge. You're gonna balance it out, lift the knee, control. It's gonna get a little bit deeper stretch to your quad and through the hamstring a little bit. All right, you're gonna bring it down, bring that heel down in front. Hinge forward, working through your calf. Now this should be shooting all the way up. You should really be feeling this. Breathe through the stretch. Good job. All right, we're going into a figure four. This is a good one, working the, the glute. Sit back into it. You can counterbalance those arms if you want. Perfect, just compression those feet. Give me a ginormous inhale, scoop it out right here. Heart center, come down to your hands, give yourself a round. Really great job, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Love to hear what you thought, what was hard, what wasn't hard, what did you love, what did you hate. I always love that because that tells me that number one, you're doing the work, and number two, that you have some comments. Feedback, knowledge is power. So I can make the workouts better. Maybe this was too hard, maybe it was too easy whatever. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next workout.